Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Nurfai Kutul Hafida from Class B Now, I would like to talk or analyze a speech from TED Talk The title of the speech that I choose is Connected but Alone by Sherry Turkle The length of the speech is 19.32 minutes in the video that I watch And it recorded in 2012 this is the speaker of the speech. Her name is Sherry Turkle. She is a color analyst and she started delivering speech on TED Talk in 1996. They are the main point, audience, and authority of the speech. The main point for this TED Talk is to tell audience how technology is shaping the modern relationships. For the detail, the devices of the technology are redefining human connection and communication. Here, the intended audience are people who are too excessive in using devices of the technology and forget their social life. They don't notice the people around them. Then, the author's authority comes from studies and personal experiences of the speaker. Here are the facts and evidence of the speech. Sherry Turkle included personal experiences. Her personal experiences are her daughter sleeps with her cell phone. And Turkle also does it. Sherry Turkle has studied technologies of mobile communication over the past 15 years. Because she has studied over 15 years, she also has interviewed hundreds of people. Two of them are family members and a 50-year-old businessman. Persuasive Appeals In the speech, Turkle uses her own experiences and the experiences from others she was interviewed to show her credibility and prove her point. Turkle mentioned that people acted differently than how they should have. For the examples, first, Parents text and do email at breakfast and at dinner while their children complain about not having their full attention. Second, a 50-year-old businessman who doesn't have college anymore at work because they are too busy on their email. This old man doesn't want to disturb them just to have the conversation. The speaker said that it happened because those people set themselves up for it. The speaker really tries to make the audience feel about the technology and social life. She gives some examples that relate of the topic. The example cited come from the results of her 15-year study. Then she explains in detail so as to make the audience feel that everything he mentioned is quite true. Turkle ever interviewed someone and he asked why conversation was wrong and this person said that the conversation was wrong because we couldn't control what we say but if we use email or other device we can consider that we will write it doesn't really make much sense as the conversation will lead to beneficial interactions there are just too much fantasy Turkle's few points. Such as people are connected through technology, but the actual social life is slightly lost because they are busy with their respective devices. This is common everywhere because today, technology has a very big role for life. However, many people forget their social life. The speaker really explains that people are connected to technology, but they are actually alone. But the speaker can force people not to use technology. Turkle's speech here was awesome because of the strengths. First, jokes. The audience loves when there is a joke delivered by Turkle. Second, Turkle's intonation is low, so that it can be understood by the beginners. And the last, media. Turkle uses PowerPoint to show her point speech. She also hands the remote to control the PowerPoint. 
One thing that made her performance less comfortable was her eyes. She often faces down to see the points of her speech on the LCD screen. When I watched the video, I was a little surprised because she often faces down like reading a text. From the beginning of the video, I don't see that there is an LCD screen below, but at the end of the video, the LCD screen is clearly visible and it shows that the speaker is reading a few sentences from there during the speech. In the end of the speech, Turkle stated that now all we need no focus on the many, many ways technology can lead us back to our real life, our own bodies, our own communities, our own politics, our own planet. It means that we can use technology to bring us to our true social life by controlling it. Alright, this is my analysis of a speech from Sherry Turkle. And this is the link of the speech. And also this PowerPoint inspired by Zevna Wright. Thank you.